All right, guys, so this is part two, the last and final method that you can do at home. I chose an egg carton, but anything with foam will work. Um, I'm using this side, the flat side of my egg carton, and I'm about to cut it out. Cut out a flat piece of the egg carton. I'm going to take a pencil or you can use a pen, whatever, and just want to scratch some designs onto it. Now remember printmaking prints backwards. So I wouldn't not I would not recommend writing. As you can tell I added some more lines. You can see from the sunlight. I added some more. And now I'm going to put the paint over this. You can use anything else, like you can make your own paint by adding like turmeric and water or even plastering ketchup on this if your parents let you. But since I have paint, that's what I'm going to use, okay? Um, I added some water to my paint. I'm diluting it. That's what it's called when you add water, diluting it. And I'm going to go over this like so. Now, if you're lucky, as you can tell, if you did your marks hard enough, there's this white line here, and that's a good thing. That means your top surface is getting painted on and not your bottom one. All right. All right, this is the whole thing painted. Now, if you did go into your lines a bit, you can always go back with your pen or pencil and kind of outline these lines to take away that paint that happened. So you can go in and draw back in here and kind of like take off that paint. And like take off the paint, okay? over um, the original lines I made so they're a bit cleaner and here's like the excess paint I have right and now this is the time to do the printmaking now you don't want to take too long with waiting to do this part because you don't want your paint or whatever you use to work in water or ketchup or whatever to dry out on you so you take this and maybe a new piece of paper or the same one it doesn't really matter you're gonna flip it over now you're gonna press down really firmly on all four corners, the center, and the sides, okay? All right, so I pressed down a bit more, and now for the grand reveal, what you're gonna do is really softly, or slowly, I should say, lift, and you should have, woohoo, a beautiful print. Check that out, looks good, all right? Here you go. This is the original. Again, just a foam from an egg carton. You also have foam on the back of the meat packages you buy if you're not vegetarian. You can wash that off, use that, or cut out the egg carton like what I did. Make sure it's the flat side. And then this is a print. Voila. So if you have the materials to do this, I would 100% recommend it. It's obviously, as you can see, a bit more clearer than the pencil one. But you could do it still with the pencil, right? Ghost print and with the marker, a ghost print. Although this one, you might have to go back and kind of redraw it a little bit, but you can see that it did technically work. Okay. Ta-da. All right, there you have it. That's how you can make a print with the foam plate. This is the foam plate and that's the actual print. All right, so please watch all the posted printmaking videos and then decide which method works best for you in creating this print as part of the print challenge. This is the end of printmaking. Next possible project is in the slideshow, so please continue with the slides and reviewing the information to see which project you will most uh, succeed in. Thank you. Have a great day.